everyone, I'm Michelle Amato, science educator at the Vermont Institute of Natural Science. If you've ever visited Vins in the fall, you would know that the leaves are transitioning from their summer greens over to hues of golds, blazing oranges, and fiery reds. It's a great time of year to visit the Nature Center. But have you ever stopped and wondered, why are the leaves changing? And why do they change to different colors? Well, let's take a closer look at some different types of leaves. The colder temperatures and shorter days trigger responses in plants. Deciduous trees begin to undergo changes. Chlorophyll, the green pigment in the leaves, starts to break down and other leaf pigments begin to show through. Yellow or orange pigments are present in the leaves during summer, but are hidden by the chlorophyll. As the level of chlorophyll decreases, these pigments become more obvious and the leaf appears more and more yellow or orange. Red pigments are not usually present in summer, but form as a result of chemical reactions that occur when the temperatures drop and photosynthesis slows. These pigments are responsible for the deep red leaf colors of fall. Here's an experiment that you can do at home that will help you find the hidden colors inside of leaves. I'm gonna show you the materials that you're gonna need. You'll need a glass jar or a clear cup, a pencil or a stick, some filter paper, these are coffee filters that have been cut into strips, and some tape and some rubbing alcohol. So what you'll do for your experiment is you will find some leaves. So go outside and collect some green leaves that have fallen off of the trees. And I would highly recommend trying to look for different species of leaves. So try to get an oak tree, try to get a maple tree, try to get all different types of leaves. And then what you'll do is you'll tear those leaves up into little itty bitty pieces and place it in your jar like I've already done for this one. Once you have done that, you're gonna fill your jar with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just so the leaves are covered right at the bottom. Then you'll take your pencil and your filter paper, tape your fil filter paper to your pencil, and this will get placed into your jar and rest right above at the very, very top of where your rubbing alcohol is. So you don't want it to be all the way at the bottom, just right at the top. And you're gonna let this sit for a while. So check in in about an hour or maybe even the next day to see what types of hidden colors are found within those leaves that you collected. And you can compare, do different types of leaves have different types of colors? The green color that you're gonna see is that chlorophyll chemical pigment that we were talking about earlier today. So what types of leaves have different types of colors? And you can also try leaves that have changed. So try some red ones, try some yellow ones. See if that makes any differences. I hope you have fun and thanks for stopping by today.